Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part seven of our series of session on tallies reporting in Tally Prime. So starting this video, we will cover yet another very, very interesting and very useful feature of GoTo. Actually, GoTo is the USP of Tally Prime release. So we will walk through the various options that are made available in GoTo and explore the features and facilities of GoTo. So let us go to Tally and explore the feature of GoTo. In this video, we will explore a very interesting and very useful feature of Tally Prime. Actually, this feature of Tally Prime is the major USP of Tally Prime. And I call this feature as the delight of the business owners. Because as a business owner, normally they would not be regularly working on tally and in case if they want any report generally depend on their accountant to get the information now with the help of this feature called go to owner of the company really they don't have to depend on any person to get the information immediately what they are looking for that is why i've mentioned this as the delight of business owner so the feature is go to so if you see here on the menu bar on top we have this button called go to so go to basically will take you to any report that you are looking for rather than trying to find them or explore them through the menu path let me give you two simple example where it becomes difficult for a non-regular user which is normally a business owner of the company for them to get any report if they have to navigate through the menu path they have to go into second level or sometimes third level of the menu and it becomes difficult for them to go and explore which menu they have to access and they are generally you know kind of they are lost so now this is where the go to is going to help first i'll show you two example example number one let us say the owner of the company would want to see the outstanding of some customer so the normal menu route is you go to display more report so you click on display more report and then here you have to see whether whether the outstanding report is available in accounts book or statement of account so it is available in statement of account so you click on statement of account and then you go to outstanding and here you are going to select a ledger and now let us say you want to see the outstanding of party called Amar Enterprises so you are going to select Amar Enterprises and enter and this is how you view the outstanding statement it becomes a little difficult for the business owner to navigate or traverse through this path all they have to do now is very simple use this wonderful feature of go to so the keyboard shortcut for go to is alt g or you can just click here and these are the reports that are available so i'll be covering the go to probably in two sessions where I will be explaining in detail about all the features and facilities that as an accountant or as a power user of Tally also can explore this and leverage this feature and especially the owner also can understand this and quickly access the information from Tally without depending on any person. So what is that now the owner wants? The owner wants to see the outstanding statement of a particular ledger. So all you have to do is simple. In fact, I always use this term called the go to is like the Google of Tally. See, normally when we are looking for some information, the first intuition that we get is that we want to know something. All you do is just go to Google and then type the information that you are looking for and you get the information. In the similar fashion, all you have to do is we are looking for ledger outstanding. So this is basically your search field where you can type what is the report that you are looking for now that report will be available here you really don't have to go and search we know that we are looking for ledger outstanding so all you do is just type out and you will see here an option highlighted here which says ledger outstandings so all you have to do is just enter here now tally is giving you the list of all the ledgers for which we want to see the outstanding report we want to see the outstanding report of Amar Enterprises. So select the ledger and press enter and we are here in the same report 
just now we saw you really don't have to go exploring through the menu option and choosing this go to you can quickly navigate to any report you want it's not necessary that every time you have to go back to gateway of tally and then start typing for the report you are looking for you can quickly you know i mean like traverse through any report you want for example let us say as you are viewing this report let us say for some reason you want to view the trial balance of the company so all you have to do now is just click on go to and just type trial tally will give you this and don't get confused that the trial balance is listed twice one it says common report and the other one it says final account report i will explain in detail in the next video why are we getting the same report in two different titles so you can select either the first one or the second one it is the same report so click on trial balance enter and here we are in the trial balance and now suddenly you want to see the balance of your bank accounts again very simple you can use mouse or you just press alt g the same search report is going to come and here we are going to type now cash and bank book so we have this report here enter and we are in the cash and bank book so this way you can you know literally traverse from one report to another report without going back or without using the menu bar so let's say we want to now see profit and loss account click on go to and just type profit so you're getting profit and loss account enter we are in the profit and loss account so if you recall we started with the outstanding ledger outstanding report and then we went into trial balance and then we moved to cash and bank balance and then we came to profit and loss account now if you press escape you will be taken back to each report backwards there is another way again use this feature of go to click on go to when you click on go to you see here on top you have this button called show open reports so when you select this open report tally is going to give you your traversing path now here you can directly jump to a particular report so we started with ledger outstanding and then trial balance cash and bank summary profit and loss account in the main report if you press escape from profit and loss account you will go to cash and bank and this way every time you escape it will take you backwards let's say you want to directly go to ledger outstanding all you have to do is just select ledger outstanding here and press enter you will be directly taken to ledger outstanding another report which again you have to walk through three levels of menu to access the report is your sales register so let me again quickly walk you through the menu path so for you to view the sales register again you go to display more report select display more report then you go to accounts book and then you go to sales register and this is the sales register that you are going to see using the go to facility all you can do is click on go to so we want to see the sales register just type sales register so you get the sales register select here and again what is this saved view we will discuss later so this is the actual report sales register enter quickly we are able to access any information that we are looking for in the next video i will discuss about these a reporting structure and how do we understand the names which are in the normal font and the names which are in bold what are these obviously there has to be a difference and we will discuss about that and also we will discuss about another very very important activities that you can do through this feature of go to now these are again i can say that it is the delight of the accountant so in the next video we will see how these features are going to delight the accountant of the company i hope this video would have given you a clear idea of how you can leverage the feature of go to i have just covered the basic navigation using go to in the upcoming video i will cover more detailed actions that you can perform with the help of go to and we will also understand what is the difference between go to and switch to So thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much